like uh, uh, novelty ice cream, you know, like the little uh, ice cream on a stick and uh, ice cream sandwiches and things like that. We were called in here because uh, they were had serious uh, high discharge uh, violations and uh, uh, we had uh, BODs of uh, anywhere from uh, 9,000 to 30,000 milligrams per liter. Um, the uh, uh, tank tankage here is, was way too small for the amount of flow, the amount of loading we had. But through the probiotics, we've reduced the, the uh, BOD, the total suspended solids. Uh, it seems to have some effect on the pH because we were having pH swings of anywhere from uh, 4 to uh, uh, 11. The city's been up here several times uh, looking at this uh, uh, process and they I think you just can't believe that uh, we've we've had as much effect the uh, we don't have the first thing that they've noticed is we don't have the odor problem that we had before in addition uh, when we took came into this plant the first time on a daily basis they had to remove uh, several inches of uh, thick uh, uh, dairy related grease like uh, butter fat off the top of this they had uh, paddles up here just to take the grease off and uh, since we've been adding the probiotics, we've never had to turn this unit on. We've never had to remove anything. So it's, uh, I think the president of this company is uh, well satisfied that that was a good part of his investment uh, that uh, he'd like to keep on going with the program. Previously, they had to, uh, they had to have uh, acids and uh, and uh, soda ash and things to, to modify the uh, pH. Uh, nothing has changed in the process, but uh, except that we've added uh, probiotics and uh, we haven't had a, a pH swing that was out of the uh, uh, parameters allowed by the state and the city.